Hi, I'm Kim Sauer at Apex 2017. I'm joined by David Lane from Neotech. David, it's great to see you here on the second day of the show. Yeah, thank you. Um, so wandering through the aisles and, and your experience of the first day, what are your impressions of, of the show so far? Really, it's a great show, well attended, a lot of new products out here, a lot mm -hmm. of advanced technologies from the standpoint of steps forward in innovation and automation. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of interesting offer offerings out here that are going to take a step forward in some of the technology. Mm -hmm. um, that blends pretty well with the things that we're looking at and where we're looking to advance based on market opportunities and demands from our customers. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Specifically in areas of additional miniaturization, um, we've recently increased our capabilities for doing miniaturization and moving from FR4 substrates into advanced ceramics and doing microelectronic assembly, particularly in the area of medical and implantables. Mm -hmm. So that's an area that we've taken a step forward and we're seeing some of the technologies here that are really going to support that. Uh, number of kind of blending between the microelectronics assembly as well as the SMT. So good advancements and uh, I think a bigger step forward from the standpoint of capabilities than I've seen in a while. Yeah, okay. And um, as, uh, you mentioned some of those industries and specialist industries that are, that are quite strong in, in the geography we're in, yeah. also probably Europe. Um, what is your geographical um, spread or where do you see the opportunities and where do you see the trends going? So where we've been focused, not necessarily only where the trends are, but where we've been focusing is in the strong trend for North American manufacturing, reshoring. Mm -hmm. We still have our operations in China, but that's in China for China, mm -hmm. for the customers that we have, particularly on the industrial side that have that requirement. But we've seen a significant trend in reshoring and that continued kind of a push for bringing products back to the United States, back to North America in general, including our operations in Tijuana and Juarez. Mm -hmm. So we've seen a lot of that we are keeping an eye very closely on the operations or the opportunities to grow into Europe mm -hmm. a lot of the medical devices are certainly going to see early adoption there compared to through the United States yeah and certainly for medical I think you, you need to manufacture close to to your home market I guess Definitely. and and that's where you see the growth areas it as is, well that's why we're keeping yeah. an eye on yeah. that market within Europe is, do you think that's driving the reshoring or are there lots of, of other? I think that there's yeah. a lot of other factors. Yeah. I think that there's the impact of the changes in currency and the overall cost of landing products back from Asia is increased so that it's not as competitive as it was. We see, you know, moving in the past 18 months past the break even point for, for being near shore, mm -hmm. particularly in Mexico. Mm -hmm. And when we look at your company, Neotech, what, what's your strategy for the near future? So our strategy in the near future is continue down the path that we've been doing, which is investment into areas that help us have a wider footprint within our space, additional mm -hmm. services and offerings. Um, for instance, our engineering services to help provide that additional flexibility of solutions to our customers, as well as the capabilities of moving into that miniaturization mm -hmm. and advancing the technology, the decrease in the amount of consumption of power, miniaturization and consolidation for implantables. Mm -hmm. Those are the areas that we are going to continue to focus in in the, in the coming 9 to 12 mm -hmm. months. Exciting developments and opportunities. Thank you very much for your time today, David. Thank you. Thank you.